Okay. I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah. You can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. Can't hide anything from you. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Right, here we are, guys. Welcome to hell. Green hell. But it looks very pretty for hell. I uh, really enjoyed Project Castaway uh, survival experience and wanted to get into another survival game. So thought, sod it, why not go for a well-known, well difficult one, <laughs> which is Green Hell. So I'm ready for the challenge. I'm looking forward to it. So let's, uh, what we do, find a camp. Let's head in here and find a camp. And hold T2's walkie-talkie. We tied down the oh, boat. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Jake, um, <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still? Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Oh, lizard running off there. Okay, so I'm guessing these two are a couple, by the sounds of it. They sound very flirty. Uh, and this must be the camp. Look at that. Okay, let's... Oh, what's this? Banana. Oh shit, what the hell was that noise? There could be anything on the jungle floor here, I'm guessing. What's the plants? No insects just yet. Oh, tea for talk. Here we go. Uh, I found the tent. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything alright? And who built it? The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. Looks like everything's ready. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Day two. Here we go. Quick day one. Well, that's everything. We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. Okay, choose a place for a campfire. Hold C to open wheel. Select notebook. And then select fire. Okay. But obviously best not do it in the tent. Look at that mask there, look at that. Just dump it in the middle here. And hold C. Notebook. Fire. There. Boom. Right. Oop. So, I need small sticks. I'm presuming I'm going to need this machete. Right, just batter this. Whoosh. Honey. I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh, but it feels that way. All 
Right, so I don't know how many sticks I needed, but I know I needed some oh, small sticks as well. Small stick, small stick. Let's start building some bits here. Uh, insert. Oh, what's that? Jesus, right, okay. E, E, E. I need more. Okay, uh, best chop down this thing here then. It's a proper Rambo machete here as well, look at this. Right, so I've cut the sticks up to make small sticks, nice and easy. Okay, dump them in there. Small stick, small stick. Oh, stick, here we go. Uh, right, I need two more sticks. Which I guess, uh, if I pick up that one and that one. You have to be right exactly where it needs to be, okay. Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Okay, cool. Hand drill. Let's have a look here. So, notebook, uh, hand drill, stick or plank and small stick. Okay. So, I've actually got a plank there. And then, cut this up. Let's do a small stick. Probably easier, right? Small stick, right. C notebook that uh, what the hell yeah hold C oh choose crafting got your craft right uh, that pull that over to there and then ah oh, there's my stick pull that there and then what do I do craft nice hmm I need to find something dry okay uh, find tinder. Find something dry such as bird nest fibre or cut down some dry leaves. Okay. Um, bird's nest from somewhere? That's nothing. Oh, bird. Hang on. Is that one? Oh, yeah. Old E to take. Oh, feather. Take that too. Shit. Was that a snake? Uh, use the fire starting tool and tinder to make a fire. Uh, okay, so what do I do? Uh, press R and B. Oh bollocks! Hit me fire up. <laughs> uh, right, this surely. Right here we go. Uh, hand drill. Oh, there we go. Use. What do I have to do? Do I add this to it here? Pop that there. Oh, there we go. Bitch. Cool. Put that in there. Ignite. Yes, there we go. We have fire. Oh, Mia. The fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely... It feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. <laughs> Mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Uh... You're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm optimistic. If we're gonna find answers, hell, it'll be here. This time we need to pay attention to the slightest details. Last time I must have missed something. Last time, you were only making general observations. This time, we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides... They don't seem to like you. 
They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Guys, oh, filthy. Over the mud. Search the tent. I love that sound as well. Listen to that rain. Well, apart from the fan, obviously. But uh, right, what have we got? Let's have a look. So they said that he's been here before. So have they been to meet this tribe once already? Note: Read. A mysterious painted warriors appeared yesterday on the riverbank as we floated by. Who are they? Our friends. The Yabba. Was it Yabba Waka? They said. Seem afraid to talk about them. Hmm, okay. Um, a couple of notes here for us. Oh my god. The effect of psychedelic substances usually lasts several hours. In that time, the participants of the ceremony experience a spiritual revelation. Whew, what does that even say? Ayo, ayahuasca is to be taken only in the presence of a shaman who also serves as a guide. What was all that rustling as well? <laughs> Something in here. Audio recorder, play. Recording number one. So, I'm on the expedition with my wife, Mia. Oh, they are a hey, couple. Hey, Mia. Hey, Mia. Say hello. Oh. Hello. The tent is up, so we can start working right away. I'll focus on indexing new plant species, and Mia, can you explain what you're going to do? Uh, well, I'm going to meet the Jabahuaca tomorrow. I am worried, you know. Are. But I'm ready, don't you think? I believe so. But it's still dangerous. I know, honey. Don't worry. Okay, that's all for now. It was... Mia? And Jake Higgins, day one. Okay. So, they found... A, oh, here we go. Living in the deep interior of the Amazon, the Hyapawaka is one of about 80 lost tribes. Due to fear of the modern and cruel world, they mostly remain isolated. Will they welcome us? They are the key, and the only lead as to why we're here. What does that mean, I wonder? So they've obviously found a tribe, look at this, the lost tribe. This is their land, their heritage, as it has been for thousands of years. Everyone who comes here needs to respect this. It's been three years since we saw them last. They often react with fear to the unknown. It's crazy, but we really need their help. Our entire plan depends on it. There, look at that, like, you've seen photos like that in real life, haven't you, of tribes, like, looking up at helicopters and what have you, or shooting bone arrows at them. And of these tribes that are in the Amazon, or Papua New Guinea, or something like that, that just, like, undiscovered, or they have no idea about the modern world. Uh, rainforest mammals. Capybara, armadillo, tapir. Food source, rich in proteins and fat. Okay. Oops. Uh, this one, oh, I can't read that one. Dart frog, the deadliest amphibian on the planet. Completely harmless for the natives thanks to Cambo ritual. North American tribes catch a living frog to extract the poison and they puncture burned children's skin with small doses of frog poison, bloody hell, till they become immune to it. God. Note, I'm at village, call me with radio when you wake up. There's a little gift for you. Love Mia. Okay. Um, and then look at this here too. Books in the undergrowth. Understory, which is all the big cats. <laughs> That's who we want to be aware of, or what we want to be aware of. Canopy. Emergent. The monkeys. Uh, right, we have to call Mia. Uh, where is our radio? Oh, hang on, do I just put T? Oh, I do, yeah. Hello, Mia. Hello, Mia. Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? Uh, where are you? Where are you? I should reach the village shortly. Remember, if you see a totem, do not go any farther. Those are clear warnings. 
I know, I know. I read your book. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Pick up a gift from the table. Which table? Hey. Oh, here. Oh, watch. Wow, look at that. Nice, just happens to come fully charged as well. Perfect. Oh, exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. Okay, hold F to look at your watch. Oh, wow. So we've got the blue, which is obviously water, then red, yellow, green, whatever that means. Search the tent for something nutritious. Protein bar. And tins of tuna. And... Oh, cocktail sausages. <laughs> My dog would like those. Uh, right, what do I do now? Uh, into the backpack. And then protein bar. Eat. Oh, look at that. So the yellow is carbohydrates and the red is proteins. Cool. Uh, call Mia again. Well rested and well fed. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Uh, be careful. Just be careful. Please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> Alright. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. Check the cork board. Uh, this one over here. Uh, Note, here we go. Tobacco plant leaves are great for healing venom. But what else can they heal? I saw this plant on the north side of the camp. After climbing a rock, there are plenty of them. It's a good place to start. Okay, hold F to look at your smartwatch. Scroll mouse. 2 o'clock, 11th of Jan. Ah, compass, look at that. Cool. Go north, find a tobacco plant. So north is just over there. Let's do it. Yeah, these tribes that they were talking about there were suspicious of technology. Kind of crazy to think that there's so many people out in the world that literally probably haven't seen a smartphone or a watch like that. And the suspicion that they treat you with. I actually saw a video on Facebook, it just popped up randomly, of like a Belgian explorer, I think in the 70s, who found a tribe. Uh, and he showed them literally just a mirror and the suspicion that they were looking at the mirror with... Uh, oh, what do I do? Oh, here we go. They were kind of hiding it behind a leaf and then flashing the leaf up and then seeing the reflection of themselves and it was like the first time they've ever seen it. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, fuck me. Mia, I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Just Mia, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Okay, so that's probably broken a bone. Hold C and choose body inspection. Uh, inspect. Oh, wow, look at this. Uh, nice. Okay. 
Then I click that, I presume. Yeah. Wow, look uh, at that. Bloody hell. That's definitely not good. Anything on the legs? Nope. Okay, so just a nasty cut. Uh, call me it. Whoops. Just a scratch. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? Not a clue. <laughs> no. I can't say that I remember. Look for Molineria. It has uh, long leaves without any markings and is surrounded by yellow flowers. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. Okay, so notepad. I've seen a couple of icons already. Molineria. Uh, and also I've got this here. Macro elements. Sanity. Wow. Uh, scratch abrasion. Okay. So I've got all these tabs here as well. Oh my gosh. Um, let's come out of that. Uh, they said yellow flowers, wasn't it? And yeah, there we go. So uh, I need my thing. Oops. How do I equip it? That. Oh my God. Just equip it, man. Equip. There we go. Bloody hell. Yeah, come on. He's not done it. Come out of it. Oh, there we go. Right. Hack away. Create a bandage. Well, I need the leaves first. Why won't it let me pick up the leaves? Oh, they vanished. What the hell? Do I have them? Yes, they're just randomly uh, craft. Craft. Uh, to use the bandage, open inspection, backpack, and drag item on wound. Uh, okay, so then I open my backpack and drag that over there. It's... <laughs> what the hell? It's just dropped on the ground. Take. Alright, try again. Uh, see that, 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 backpack, expand, oh you got to literally drag it to the dot, there we go, wow, okay, uh, all wrapped up, here I am, all wrapped up nicely, mm. does it hurt, uh, no, because I'm big and strong, um, not much, So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that, and I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Day 32, good deal. Time's gone by. Come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please, please answer me. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia! What the hell's going on over there? You have been out there a month already. Find Mia, okay. Uh, let's get our machete. We might need it. Equip, right, let's go. Come on.
Hello? Jake, what the hell is going on there? Oh, come on, speak to me, Jake. What can I me to spawn this? He's in a bad way. Oh, look at this. Plane. Plane's gone. Mia. Mia. This radio. Oh my God, can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? I had an accident. I don't know what happened. Please. Help? Over. Fuck. Oh wow. Well there we are guys. That's where we're going to leave it for this very first episode. We're in a bit of danger already. I don't want to get too close to this water in case there's uh, like crocs in there or something. I've got 58 recipes to read in my little uh, notebook here. So I'm going to have to work my way through those. Oh, there's me. Um, so join us in the next episode where I'm going to try and figure out where the hell we are and what it is that we need to do to get out of here. So guys, I'll catch you in the next one.